Let me start off by saying that Lawbreakers is a fun game. It is definitely different than most shooters that I've played recently and goes back to the old school style of arena shooters and adds some cooldown abilities and fun zero gravity bubbles that makes it a little different from Unreal Tournament or Quake. And I can definitely say that I've had a lot of fun with it over the past couple of days. Now the most popular comparison to this game right now is to Overwatch. And of course Overwatch is a better game, but the games aren't the same. The only things they have in common is that they're both hero based shooters. But since Overwatch is the biggest hero shooter and the one people know most, I'll use it later for a comparison. So unfortunately Lawbreakers is already considered a flop due to its low amount of PC players at launch, low view counts on Twitch and other streaming platforms, and a poor marketing campaign. Now as I said, the game is really fun. The gameplay is really polished, although it feels old. Now I can say I feel that this game is definitely a PC shooter and relies on quick twitchy reflexes rather than a balanced team composition and communication. But that's where the first real issue is to me. Lawbreakers fell into two genres and not too many people really knew what it was supposed to be. It fell into the hero shooter category and arena shooter. Hero shooters are basically owned by Blizzard with Overwatch and no matter what you just can't get past Overwatch. It doesn't matter if your game is better or not, Overwatch is a behemoth. And arena shooters always get praised because I mean they're good, but at the end of the day they have such a niche crowd and even if some of us don't like it we all know that that crowd is getting smaller. But those are just categories, genres. Lawbreakers goes out of its way to be different. There isn't a single classic game mode in this game unless you consider Blitzball a classic. Everything is a spinoff of a game mode we all know, whether it be a spinoff of Domination game modes or Capture the Flag game modes. Which sounds good on paper because most of us are always demanding innovation, but most of the matches feel the same as all the game modes boil down to go to this point fight everyone and capture the point or return the item to your base. But the biggest issue I have with this game is that it lacks any personality. I mean you're immediately thrown into this world and don't know anything other than there are good guys, the law, and then there's the bad guys, the breakers. This is the last time I'll mention Overwatch, but I hardly play Overwatch. But I love the game because of how stylish it is. There's there's something about Overwatch. There's so much personality that I can tell you everyone's name and ability and I've put less than 10 hours into the game. And yeah, Overwatch is a lot more cartoony and colorful than Lawbreakers, but you don't need bright colors to distinguish your characters from one another. Look at uh, Rainbow Six Siege. Even from far away, we can identify what an enemy is able to do just by looking at them. And even though they hardly speak, we still get to know them by name immediately, even after a day of playing. And some of the operators have personality as well. But in Lawbreakers, there's the nine different roles, and then they split them into Law and Breakers. And they each have different names and personalities, but from afar, everybody looks the same. You can tell who the heavies are, and then you can tell who the assassins are. But with everybody flying around, you have no idea what's going on and who is who until you see you know, gunslinger teleport or something. And I've heard the argument it's because of the characters loud mouths and you know, dirty talk. But that doesn't make them forgettable. Look at uh, Cliffy B's last big title, Gears of War. They've got memorable characters with loud mouths too, but we got to know them due to their story. Lawbreakers currently has no story. It's just two teams killing each other and capturing objectives. And one final problem that I feel really holds this game back is the lack of variety. Sure there are a few game modes and 9 classes but that's basically it. There's no ranked mode yet or no way to pick a game mode you want to play. You just turn the game on, hit quick play and that's it. It throws you into a game whether you like the game mode or not. I feel that with the skilled as fuck style of game and its steep learning curve, it kind of pushes players away and not all of us want another super vertical fast paced game that's difficult to learn. Now of course this is not a review of the game, but I can say it's a good game even though I was just shitting on it. But I feel that it's going to be forgotten, which kind of sucks because there was something here. 
Anyways, that's basically all I had to say about Lawbreakers for now. I just wanted to throw my opinion out there on this since a few of you have been asking for it. Anyways, let me know what you think about the game and do you think I'm wrong and have no idea what I'm talking about or do you agree with me? As always, leave a like if you enjoyed the video and sub if you're new and I will talk to you guys in the next video.